classes are a template or a blueprint. Well, let's say you give a builder a blueprint and you say, build a house. Does the builder now have enough information to build the house you want? Is house a specific thing that you can live in or is house just a description of a type of house? And this is an interesting question and it gets to the design of your classes. You'll have classes that are enough of a description of the entity they represent that you can just use them. For example, a customer class. If you add the appropriate properties and methods into a customer class, you can create an instance of that customer and then work with that customer. Do you just have customers or do you have different types of customers? Maybe you have corporate customers and individual customers. If you do, then you might want to do some inheritance. You might want to create a customer class that represents a generic or common customer and then from that derive more specific classes representing, for example, corporations and individuals. In this section, we're going to see how to do just that.